Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fola. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to cut and sew a kimono jacket with front pockets. If this is something you like to know more about, keep on watching and let's get started. I'm gonna have to fold my fabric into four because I'll be drafting the front and the back pattern together. So the next thing I did was to rule a starting line from the top of my paper. So I'll be starting my measurements from there. Then I marked half of the shoulder measurement, which is 7 inches. And from that point, I marked the sleeve length, which is 14 inches, including the hemming allowance. So then I placed the neck width, which is 3 inches. And the back neck depth is 1 inches. So I'm going to connect that with a curve. Then the next thing I did was to come down 1 inch from the starting line. Then I will connect that to the neck width to form my shoulder slants. The next thing I did was to place the chest line measurements, which is 10 inches. The original chest line is 8 inches, but since we are making a kimono jacket and it's a free garment, you are going to add 2 inches to whatever your original chest line is. Then you are going to connect that with the straight ruler. So, so on the chest line, I placed quarter of the hip circumference plus 4 inches is allowance. All I did there was to square down what I have on the shoulder line to the chest line. I connected that to the straight ruler. I'm sorry my camera was out of range here. All I did there was to mark what I have on the chest line, which is the quarter of my hip circumference plus 4 inch for ease allowance. That was the same thing I marked on the M line of my kimono. Then I connected that with the straight ruler down to the M line. So the next thing I did was to give that a curve. That piece is not supposed to be straight, so I just give it a slight curve like that. So, so that is all for the back pattern. So I'll cut out the back pattern now, and then I'll be working on the front pattern. So I'll cut out the neckline first. So then I'll cut out the shoulder line. I didn't cut directly on the line. I left half inch for joining the shoulders. Then I cut out the side of my kimono like that. So that is all for the back pattern. Then I'll be working on the front pattern now. So from the shoulder line, all I did was to mark the waist measurement, the shoulder to waist line, which is 15 inches. I want the break point to be 15 inches. You can choose to make it your bust points. Or any measurements you want but I'm making it to be my waistline which is 15 inches so I'm going to connect that to the neck width just like you see me doing in the video so then I'm going to cut that out then I'm going to slash that open I'm going to slash that open to the M of the jacket just like that so that is all for the front pattern so we start joining our pieces together now we'll be joining our shoulders the front and back we we'll join them by the shoulders so this is it after I was done joining I've joined the shoulders so the next thing I'm going to do now is to aim the sleeve I'm going to hem the sleeve one inch twice like that after which I'm going to join the sides as well after hemming the sleeves I'm going to join the sides so this is it after I was done joining 
So this is it. It's in one piece now. So we'll be working on the pockets now. So I'm gonna have to cut two pieces of fabric measuring 10 inches in length and nine inches in width. So the for the facing on the pockets, all I did was to cut out a black strip of fabric also measuring about nine inches in width and two and a half in length. Then I added interfacing to the wrong side of the crepe to give it stability. So all I did was to place the right side of the crepe facing the wrong side of the pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that with half inch like that. I'll stitch that with half inch. I'm going to do that to the second pocket as well. I'll stitch that with half inch. So this is it after I was done sewing. Then I'll flip it to the right side like this. Now the wrong side of the crepe is now facing the right side of the fabric. Then I'll just fold in my crepe with half inch like that. Then I'll stitch it down like that. You can see. Then I'll just stitch it down like that. So this is it after I was done. So I went ahead to iron down the three sides of my pocket there. So it will be easy for me to sew to the jacket. So I iron it down half inch around the pocket. So I'm going to be placing that on my jacket now. So to know where you're going to place your pocket, all I did was to come down from the shoulder line to the waistline. My sh the shoulder to the waistline I'm working with is 15 inches. So I just added two inches to that. So that will be 17 inches. I'll be placing my pockets starting from 17 inches now. So then from the center of the jacket, I came in by two inches. So I'll be placing the pocket starting from that point. I did the same thing to the other side as well. I came down by 17 inches. That is two inches below my waistline. So I'll be placing my pockets on that point. So I'll go ahead and pin my pocket down to the fabric. I'm going to be pinning to just the front pattern, please. Just the front pattern. You're going to pin down your pockets to the front part. Then I'll stitch that round like you see me doing. I'm going to stitch that down. I'll do that to the other side as well. So this is it. After I was done stitching down my pockets, you can see. So for the front strip, that is the front design. All I did was to measure around the jacket. I measure around from the down part here. I measure around the neckline till I get to the second side. So whatever you have there, you're going to cut a long strip of fabric. So this is it. I'm going to need to cut mine. I'm making use of the same crepe I used for the pockets. So I went ahead to cut a long strip of fabric measuring 2 inches on fold like that. And it's 4 inches if you open it like this. So... I'm going to be sewing that. I'm going to place that right side facing right side of my jacket. That one is on fold like that. And I'm going to sew that round my jacket. So this is it. After I was done sewing, I'm going to have to sew that down. So I'll go ahead and weave the rough edges there and I'll give it a good press and that will be all for my jacket. Then I will aim the down part of the jacket. So that will be all for the making of my jacket. You can see how simple and easy it is. So this is the finished look. 
of our kimono jackets with front pockets. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.